Welcome to Modern Wall Street's Trader Talk, and the energy is so fly on the floor today. I say we start with that. What do you think, Matt? Uh, sounds good. All right. Well, this week's EIA and API data was pretty strong. However, yesterday, oil couldn't close at 50, and now it's up today, but still not near its highs yesterday. So why aren't these matching up? Uh, you know, I think oil may have gotten a little ahead of itself in the short term. You know, 50 is a magic number right now. Uh, the more it stays above 50, the more that we're going to start seeing overproduction out of the um, out of OPEC. We're going to see more rigs come online in the U.S. So we're going to see more and more uh, supply come on the market. Uh, I know we exported a, a good number this week, uh, so uh, it doesn't really match up, but I think 50 is probably where we're going to stay for the foreseeable future, and that might be a dollar two below or a dollar two above, so uh, 50 is a magic number. All right, we'll keep our eyes on the magic number. Now that we got oil covered, let's move on to these equity markets. Matt, if, we close, if the S&P closes an, at another record today, it's going to be its longest since the 90s. Same with the VIX, but in the opposite direction. So would you say it's not dangerous to short the VIX anymore? Ooh. I wouldn't say that at all. I mean, today you're seeing a huge move to the downside in the VIX, considering we don't have that big of an upside in the market. So I think people are a little throwing in the towel a little bit on the VIX, but you know that's right when a contrarian's starting to think, you know what, this is the time you might want to start buying some insurance really aggressively. Uh, look at one thing. Look at the transport index. Now that's uh, sold off the last couple of days. That's usually a pretty good leading indicator of what the market's going to do. It had a huge run of almost a thousand points from um, you know end of August to this point. So it's might if it retraces a little bit, and I'm not saying this is a market correction, you may see the market. Uh, turn down a little bit, and you might see the VIX rally. Right, and the joke is that every trader and his mother-in-law is shorting the VIX on Wall Street right now, but we'll leave that up to them. What the volatility is really affecting are the banks, which we're going to see in next week's earnings. Bank of America, Citi, and JP Morgan are all looking at a, at least a 20% decrease in revenue and trading. So is there any way they could make this up somehow? Uh, I'm sure they'll find other ways. You know, as a matter of fact, I think their loans probably look good and things like that. So, you know, there's a lot of mortgages that are being uh, placed before the Fed starts hiking. So maybe they're going to make it up from that end of it. Uh, certainly the trading side may be down, but uh, I'm not too, I'm not too, uh, I'm not too worried about the banks right now. I think they're going to probably hit all-time highs next week. All right. Well, something that could affect them in the future is tomorrow's non-farm payrolls number, which the Fed will closely be watching if they're going to make this third rate hike or not. Now, I know that you've been pretty adamant they're not going to do that. Have you changed your mind at all, Matt? Uh, I think I have. I think their rhetoric is pretty clear uh, that they're going to do it. So I'm not so certain that this number is going to be a factor. I think we're going to take a look at more November and December as they get closer to the December hike. So this number may be a one-off. I think they've got a lot to look at as far as the hurricane data and things like that. So it may be a little bit skewed. I think they've jawboned it up enough to say, you know what, we're going to give us one more in 2017. That gives us some latitude 2018. Well, we'll see if we're going to end the week with non-farm payrolls or non-farm pay goals. So, Matt, thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Absolutely. You too.